Hi, it's Barbara Greenlee with Green Moon Stamp Studio, and this is just going to be a short video today. I'm going to show you this quick and easy card using the Seaside Wishes hybrid embossing folder and bundle. Let's get started. Okay, this is a quick video showing you the Seaside Wishes hybrid embossing folder. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you haven't done it before. If you have, maybe it's a reminder. Uh, this stamp set bundle includes the hybrid 3D embossing folder plus dies. Here's everything pictured right here. So you have stamps, dies, the big die that goes with the embossing folder for the three sand dollars, and of course the embossing folder. So, and I love this, that it's a regular size die, so it all fits in the case. I like to keep everything together. It's easier to find things. So this is the card that I'm gonna make, and the paper that I'm using is this Thoughtful Journey 6x6 paper. When I was at a retreat, uh, one of my team members at the retreat said, you know, this paper kind of looks beachy, the ones that have this color scheme. And uh, this one even has some purple in it, but still goes great with the Cajun and the Calypso coral. So uh, you could use this one as well for sort of a beachy scene. That's that paper. So let me get my supplies. Before we do the sand dollars, I'm just going to go ahead and tape down. This was a six by six. Um, this was this was together. There might have been a little squash in between there, um, but I didn't want to lose that strip of paper. So I'm going to repurpose that, you know, on the inside. You could, of course, you know, make some other cards with with uh, a strip that size on the front somewhere. But this is just very simply going to go on the front, five and a quarter by four. Then this leftover piece, which was a little bit bigger, I cut it down to about one and a half because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming on the inside. So this is my inside piece. And I'm just going to mat it all the way to the left of that inside. So that gives me some pretty paper to look at on the inside. And then we will do our sand dollars, and I'll show you how to do that. This uh, was a popular bundle. It's also 20% off right now, uh, but it was so popular when it first came out in the catalog that it went on back order. But it's back in stock, at least last time I looked. We're going to use basic beige for the sand dollars. It's the perfect sand dollar color. Um, look at this. So you can uh, see the, the detail on those sand dollars that gets created by the embossing folder. So let me bring in my machine. Okay, so what we're going to do is on the logo side of the embossing folder you are going to match this up to the sand dollars and it will click into place listen Did you hear it kind of click into place and now it doesn't move so that is the proper spot for it to be in Then you're going to put your basic beige on top. 
hold it fairly tight so it doesn't move on you. It's 3D, so you're going to use your 3D embossing plate. All of the hybrids are 3D, even if they don't say so on the packaging. I'm pretty sure they do somewhere, but stand up so I can get some leverage here. Okay. So this, get this out of the way. So here is our embossing folder and our amazing sand dollars. Doesn't it look like a real sand dollar? So it cuts out the three and they all have the, the detail on them. You could just use this as an actual embossing folder too for a background. Um, it gives you lots of other little sand and you know pebbly looking stuff on the side. Okay, so let's bring back our card that we're working on. And I'm going to put these on the card with dimensionals. And I suggest that you just put dimensionals in the center so that you keep that sand dollar shape. So just Put one on at a time, and you can angle them different ways. Hang them off the edge a little if you want for more interest. And let's see. That looks good. Okay, and then I have this ribbon. This is an online exclusive ribbon. It's Pecan Pie, and it's called Center Stripe Ribbon. It's 3 8 inches wide. Works great for the beach, I think, with this natural tones, kind of beachy colored. Goes with the beige pretty good. And uh, I'm, when I did my class, I had them all use this saying right out of the set. Um, you absolutely, absolutely made my day. But uh, when I'm doing these leftovers, I went and dug out an old retired stamp set that says, congrats on your retirement, because I needed a retirement card. So we're just going to put a swipe of tape on the back of your greeting then decide what kind of angle you want with your ribbon. That's pretty close to what I did before. Then we're going to, and you can adjust it if you need to, then we're going to put a couple of dimensionals just on the ends. You could probably use regular size, but I've got the minis here, so that's what I'm using. And then just put that across your card. You could go, if you go this direction, I would angle your ribbon differently. You could go this direction. Did it hit the, yeah, okay. And then I've got a couple of the starfish that I also stamped on the basic beige in Calypso Coral. So we're going to throw one of those on here. And the little one. And there is a lot of detail on these starfish. Let's see, I want the want it facing a little bit different way. That looks good. So there's my quick and easy seaside wishes card. Here is the envelope that I did for it with a starfish and it has some little pebbles and some, uh, what do you call it, little dots, little splatter so that it kind of looks beachy 
So uh, I just put these two together and then did this little splotchy one for a little beach scene for my envelope. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you have used the hybrid embossing folders before and uh, what you think of them. I absolutely love them. Thanks.